Hi guys, welcome today back to Arc Tutorials. Chris here, and today what we're going to go through is adding people to your render. Um, so you've created your render already in SketchUp or another piece of software. Uh, you might have done it in Revit, and you've exported it, but it looks a little bit uh, blank. It's a bit lifeless. So there's no people in there. Um, so what we're going to go through today is how to add people, make it look realistic, a few different styles that you can um, use for the different people. Uh, but again, yeah, mainly to make it look as realistic as possible. We'll be looking at shadows uh, and looking at making the people uh, blend in with the surroundings. Um, as you can see here, what I'm going to use today isn't actually a render, uh, just to make it simple. Uh, this is a photograph uh, from a project for the company I work for. Uh, for a project that we did uh, a number of years ago now at Northumbria University, one of the campuses. Um, there was a lot of uh, renders made for this, but I'm just going to use the photograph just to give you the basics uh, of how to add people. So you can actually use this for photographs as well. doesn't necessarily have to be just for renders. Okay, so let's start. Um, what you want to do, first of all, is you want to find a good source of cutout people. Now, if you want, you can do your own. Um, and you can take pictures of people. Um, obviously, you've got to be careful when you're using them uh, for artistic licenses, etc. Uh, you can't just use pictures of people, especially in work that you're getting money for. Um, you would need model releases. What there is, though, is there's a good source of free, uh, royalty-free people that you can use. Um, but again, if you are using these people, you will um, obviously have to get some kind of license um, if you're using them professionally, this is mainly based uh, for students, etc. You can use these websites in your work. So let's head over to the internet. Uh, and the first one we're going to look at is a site called Immediate Entourage. Uh, you will find all the links as well below in the description. Uh, but immediateentourage.com. And you can see it on here, uh, free cutout people. Uh, you can also do animals, vehicles, plants, uh, and a few textures on there as well if you're going to use them for your Photoshop. Uh, and again, just by clicking on, you can select them or on the right hand side as well. Uh, there's a lot of keywords, sitting, uh, children, etc. that you can select. Okay, so we scroll down here, uh, click this one for example. You can see here, uh, I've already signed in for this, but what you'll see is when you go on there, it'll have a little box where you put your email address in and then you'll be able to download it in full size. By clicking on the download full size, it'll open another window um, on the. Automatically, these are all .png. What you could do is, if you're taking it to Photoshop, you could just copy the image and take it across. But often, it leaves a black background around it because it's taking a PNG directly from the internet. So I suggest you save the image uh, to your file. And it's really good as well if you create a folder on your computer, on your hard drive, and then you can co come back to them later on as well, and you've got a vast... Uh, library already of cut out people so that's um, immediate entourage another really good one is one called skull um, a lot more kind of hipsterish type people uh, great for your uh, renders making it look lively a lot of younger people on this one um, and again you can just kind of scroll through a lot more quirky ones as well um, as you can see on there and there is just lots to choose from um, what you will see now and again as well is especially when it comes to degree shows in architecture schools. Uh, you see a lot of these people pop up uh, now and again. Um, I love this guy just here, pretty good. <laughs> um, and the third one I'm going to show you is one called Cutout Life. And it's exactly the same as Skull Gabor. Uh, again, just individual images, um, a lot more ethnically diverse, I think this one as well, I'd say. Um, so, for instance, on here, you can see that's not a great quality one, um, but you can use them, especially if it's going to be in the background far away. And again, you just do exactly the same as save that image. So what we'll do is we go back to uh, the one on Immediate Entourage, uh, and we'll use this picture of the girls. Um, so save the image as. So save that one. It's already there, but we'll replace that one. I'm going to close that. Right, what we're going to do now is on Photoshop is go up to place linked that's file place linked find that image so girlfriend's holding hands and place it now what you'll see is because it's already a PNG it's already cut out entirely for you so you don't need to do any cutting out 
Um, if you're doing your own photographs, uh, check out. Uh, there's lots of tutorials online. Uh, I'll try and do one later on as well on how to cut out people, uh, but that's relatively simple as well. But this is a lot quicker. So what you want to do first of all is by clicking the top uh, left or right, any of the corners, and holding down the shift key at the same time, uh, just to make sure it stays in proportion. If you want to get a rough size, uh, and you can kind of move it around a little bit, so you want that rough size of where you think, you kind of just have to judge this one by eye really. You can hit enter, and then what you can also do is by clicking on the move tool, or pressing V as a shortcut, and then you can press using the arrow keys and kind of move them exactly where you want them. Um, so for this one I think that's a relatively good one, we'll leave that one there. Now what we're going to do is, as you can see, there's a lot of shadows coming off this building. Uh, and the girls kind of stand out at the moment because obviously they've got no shadows. So what we want to do is create some shadows. So go over to the layer that's there and you want to right click and you want to duplicate that layer. Click OK. Uh, and then we've got a duplicate of that layer, obviously moving around, you'd see that. What you want to do first of all before you do anything, because we want to edit this quite a lot, is right click on there and scroll down to rasterize layer. Okay, we've got that now. So what we want to do now is we want to flip it. So go over to edit, transform and flip it vertically. So you'll see now what we've got is what can become some shadows and again we just need to we're going to just play around with this a little bit more so head up to filter uh, filter gallery and then what you want to do is head under sketch so under sketch and then head to stamp make sure your light and dark balance is set to the max smoothness isn't really a huge issue with this file uh, click OK and then you can see we've got a basic shadow uh, it's very dark at this point and it's not quite in proportion. So what you want to do now is head to edit, transform uh, and click on skew. And now you just want to kind of play around. We'll zoom in slightly for this one. Now you just want to be playing around. So first of all we need to get that angle right. Uh, just by clicking the corners you can kind of move this around or you can, if you want, you can just click off slightly. And you just want to get that kind of initial basic angle right and we're going to judge that is off the posts as you can see them now you can see it's starting to get a little big we'll make it smaller again uh, head that down there again we're just trying to get that basic angle so i think we need to be kind of maybe a little bit more to keep it in proportion pull that down make it a little bit smaller Okay, right, we'll click, hit enter for now, we'll move that into place, uh, and you can see that's not quite right at the moment, uh, because the legs aren't quite joining up, so again, uh, edit transform, and you're just kind of playing around until you, until you get that kind of position wherever you want, what you can do is kind of zoom out and move down slightly, especially if you're doing it in an image that you can't really, it's going to be off screen slightly. Um, so we're just going to really just kind of play around with this for a couple of minutes, try and get it exactly where we want it. Again, just kind of make it a little bit smaller again. And we're slowly getting there. A little bit more, maybe. See, it's quite long shadows at the moment. And I think we're pretty much there. I'm uh, relatively happy with that. Uh, now, as you can see, um, the shadow, what we created off this girl on the left, is actually completely hidden. Uh, so really what we want to do is, to be honest, 
to just get rid of that part. Select all around it, and then uh, Control X or Command X will get rid of that. Now what we need to do is the shadow for the girl on the right. We need to blend that in a little bit more uh, to make it look like the the rest of the shadows. Easy way to do that is first of all what you want to do is go over to the um, eyedropper tool, in either eyedropper tool or by clicking on I will also get you that I for eyedropper. You just want to select, so make sure you're on the right layer, select this area, and that's given us a basic color. Then what you do is go over to that layer where the shadow is, uh, press Command or Control, and then click inside, and that'll select all of that. Then what we can do is by using the paintbrush tool, is just go over that, make sure you're on the right layer, just go over it, and color it in that color. Now what we do is we deselect everything, you can see we're pretty much there with that. All we're going to do now is take the uh, opacity down slightly just so we can see some of the lines kind of coming through. Um, and I think we've got there with that one. So now that if you select everything, you can see it looks a little bit more realistic now because uh, we've got that shadow. Uh, it looks as if the girls are actually there. Now the girls stand out a bit too much um, in terms of obviously because they're right in the center of this one, obviously, but the colors, etc., um, they stand out. Uh, and it's mainly about the architecture. That's what you're trying to get across. It's not about the people. So what I tend to do is by clicking on the layer where the girls are and then start editing that one. Um, so what I tend to do is image adjustments, uh, brightness and contrast. Um, so I might put the, I might leave the brightness around there and then contrast what I tend to do is click it once and then go back again um, go back to adjustments, brightness and contrast and keep playing with that contrast I really want to kind of drown them out a little bit on that one uh, and you can see that's what you end up with looks a bit more realistic when you take the contrast down what you can also do as some people like to do is then play with the opacity and make the see-through people again this kind of focuses a lot more on the architecture it depends again what kind of effect you're trying to get so you can see you can play around with it you can make your people see through another one which you can do as well is again similar to what we did earlier with the filter um, so we'll just rasterize that one quickly the girls is if you go into filter filter gallery uh, obviously it's come up as this color because uh, on our main colors here we're not on black so make sure we're on black actually it'll work out white it'll work out better filter filter gallery see the girls are coming up as white click ok now you've got a white uh, set of people again they're not really standing out very much so what we can do command or control click on the little thumbnail on the layer thumbnail select all around it and then go to edit stroke uh, we want a stroke of about let's say two pixels let's make it black um, okay, let's make it a grayish color on the outside yeah that'll work and there you go if we select that now there you go uh, we've got the outline of some people what I tend to do with that one is get rid of the uh, hide the Let's get rid of the shadows. Um, it's not really necessary as much, really, I'd say, on, on that one. So what you can do is just get rid of the shadows on that one. But we'll leave it on this one. So there's a few different uh, methods that you can use to create your renders uh, come to life with some people. Uh, check out my other tutorials. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, any comments, uh, please put them below. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want any videos, if you want to know how to do something, please comment below. And I'll try my best to get a video to you as soon as possible. Uh, I hope you liked it. Click like, please. Uh, give it some support. That'd be great. Thank you. See you again next time, guys. Bye.